Okay? This is an example of a thermal actuator. This sits on the manifold. And, and what this does is this allows you to have one manifold with multiple circuits of control on it. And essentially what you have is you have a little wax motor in here. When the call for heating comes in, the, the element in the, uh, inside this thermal actuator heats up and it allows it to open and allow water to come out. Because normally this is the closed position, this is a plug valve. Now you're always going to see these actuators on the return side. I've seen numerous jobs where I've gone out, nobody can figure out why it wasn't working because they had the supply on the return going in the wrong direction. It has to, the return water has to face this in order to properly be controlled and properly flow. Okay? Water has a hard time flowing like that. Okay, so that, that basically is, is one of the methods of control. The other way to do it is just have one manifold with one zone valve because you've got a big great room and there's eight circuits and one thermostat. You know, the cost difference, these things are about 50 bucks a piece. Okay, and, and if I have a manifold that has eight of these things on them, well, 50 bucks a piece times eight is 400 bucks just for an actuator. They're all going to the same room. So in that case, I'd pick a zone valve with one actuator for 75 bucks because they all have to come on at the same time.